Now then, everybody, it's Dan from homeforsee.com. I'm just going to try and make this quick video really quickly, and it's basically just to um, go over a, a potential mix up or confusion that could be had with my video that I did the other day about disregarding your ego and getting a decent squat form. Um, it was a, that it wasn't aimed at any type of person or anybody. It was aimed more at saying how um, you know if uh, well, what I'm trying to say is if I was to rack up 180 kilos on my back and say to people, oh yeah, I squat 180 for reps, and then somebody asked me to do it, and I did partial reps. People would say to me, "You're a fucking idiot." You know, you know what, what are you doing? Those are those are proper squats. Now, that is what I'm trying to get at. And you get the whole point of that video was that you'll have people that will walk around feeling like they're the man. Oh yeah, I squat 200 k, no problem, and little knee bends. And it's mainly more to say, rather than chasing those big weights and and the whole ego side of it, like chasing the number or the amount of reps you can do with it. If you can't do it properly once, it doesn't count. Now, what I want to differentiate here is that one thing that got brought up in my uh, pull day video, which is perfectly spot on and I actually anticipated it coming. When I was doing my T-bar rows, V-bar rows, there's a lot of um, the cheating going on and uh, a lot of body English and the form is not the best. Now what I said in the video before I did that was that when it comes to cutting I like to lift as heavy as I can. Now as long as you don't have bad form, and by bad form I mean a back that's bent over like this and you're going to injure yourself, if you can keep your back tight, arched, shoulders back, chest up and using a bit of leg drive to move the weight, anybody that's done that will know the insane pump you get into your back from doing these type of weights, heavy weights. You only need to do a few reps and Jesus Christ, you feel it. Now as long as you're not risking getting snapped up, then it's not a problem. Same goes for partial squats. Yeah. Now, the whole point was what I'm trying to say is that as long as you know the reason for why you are doing it, it's not a problem. And as long as you know how to do it safely. If, for example, you're doing a partial squat with 200k because you want to work out on that part of the, the, the squat, you need to you know, improve your lockout, then you know why you're doing it and you would never say to somebody, I've got 200k squat. If somebody came along and said, I don't know what you're doing, or just say, oh, I'm doing partial reps, I'm trying to build, build up my uh, lockout on my squat. You wouldn't say, oh, I'm squatting 200. But that's the difference between somebody that doesn't know better and thinks that that is a squat. Do you see what I'm saying? So as long as you know the reason behind what you're doing and that you know how to do things safely, it's not a problem. Form is always going to be key for, for, for every lift. But if you can do it safely a certain way because you're wanting to achieve a certain thing, then it's not a big deal. And that's one of the reasons why um, somebody mentioned before about would you ever give advice to somebody in a gym? No, I would never, ever, ever, ever walk up to anybody in a gym and say, excuse me, mate, I think you're doing that wrong. One, because you're just an absolute bell end for doing that. And two, because advice is only, even good advice, it's only... It's only welcome when it's asked for, you know, yeah. no, nobody, everybody hates to be given advice if they haven't asked for it. And you don't know yourself the reason for why they're doing it. And like I've just said about that example, if you was doing partial squats to increase your lockout and someone came over to you and said, you're doing them wrong, you'd say, I'm doing partial squats, fuck off, you know, <laughs> so... And that's what I just want to get at. So like I said, that video about the squatting was mainly to aware people of their form. People that think that those half rep squats are a proper squat. It was mainly to aware them that instead of chasing those big numbers and the, the ego, 
work on getting your form right even to parallel below if you can go is obviously going to be more beneficial but as long as you go into parallel with decent form and you haven't got your knees shaking and bending all over the place like i was then you're doing all right and that is what that video was for so that's just to clear up any potential confusion so there you go thank you very much for watching please like share it with your friends subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time cheers now